Texas. Where are we today? We're at the Paramount Studios. We're here to check out the uh, Cinegear Expo. Let's go take a look, shall we? Now, what exactly is the Cinegear Expo, you might be asking? Well, it's an event put on for the media and entertainment industries. It's a chance for artists and technicians to see the latest state-of-the-art technology and techniques and get hands-on training and check out some of the latest releases of camera, sound, lighting, and stage equipment in the digital media, film, and entertainment industry. This event is massive. It takes place on the back lot and some sound stages of Paramount Studios in Hollywood, California. That's right, you actually get to walk around the back lot at Paramount. And while you're checking out the Cine Gear, you get to peep some of these awesome backdrops and facades that are movie legends. The variety of equipment here is amazing. Check out this drone radio controlled dolly with a camera gimbal. I wouldn't mind having one of these camera crane trucks. I also wouldn't mind having this uh, fog machine here. Wow, check this out. Look at the size of this drone. It actually has a film camera mounted on that gimbal. Look at the size of these blades. They're as big as my hand. This guy's got a Ronin gimbal with a digital film camera attached. And check out how you control it. You've got a preview monitor with these smooth, accurate controls. Check this camera out. Oh, and look, it's my car. It's the electric Fiat 500. Hmm, I might have to set my Fiat up to look like this one. That's pretty badass. <laughs> so this is for viewing the video yes. feed from camera or drone? Uh, yeah, the camera or the drone. Ah, very nice. This company has some amazing camera cars. Got like an off-road ATV, some high-speed vehicles. And uh, yeah, that actually looks like a Raptor back there. That has to be awesome for off-road filming. Look at the interior of this thing. It's set up perfectly for camera work. And if drones are a little bit too small for you, how about this guy? Yeah, it's a camera helicopter. Look at that massive camera. That's amazing. You know that you're at a high class event when they have catering from In-N-Out Burger. That's hot. And speaking of hot, this uh, Monster Energy Drink booth was quite the hit. I, I can't figure out why. I mean, it's just a energy drink, right? Huh. I don't know. You gotta be careful walking around here. Michael Bay Avenue, 
full of explosions. Since this event takes place inside of a live functioning studio lot, you occasionally get a sneak peek inside some of the sound stages as they build some of the sets and backdrops for film and television. For me, that's part of the fun. I wonder what this place... Sorry guys, can't film in here. Busted! Anyway, each stage has a plaque on it that lists all of the film and TV shows that have been made inside each building. Spot any of your favorite shows among these lists? Stage 17 was uh, once used to shoot Wayne's World, a favorite of mine. But today, Stage 17 is housing some of the cine gear that we'll be checking out. Once you come inside these stages, you're reminded of how massive they are. I like how Red Camera had a stage set up so you could test out some of the cameras. And here they are showing off an 8K video editing suite. Now that's my kind of bar. A lens bar. <laughs> Don't forget lighting. Check out the size of that light. I wouldn't mind having that for my vlogs. Moving on to stage 18, here's a list of all the works that have been created inside of here, but today, again, we'll be looking at some equipment. Atmos, Panasonic, DJI, Sony, the list goes on and on. Check out this camera setup. This is how they produce those Matrix style stop motion moves where the actor sort of dodges a bullet and freezes him in midair. Those are a lot of little cameras. Oh, and over here, Sony actually has an area where you can test their cameras out on a live model. This lady is dressed up from a familiar hit movie. And over at the DJI booth, all of the hot and heavy action centered around the new Ronin S, which actually you can't buy yet. It was announced at this show that it will be available around June 11th. I got a chance to put my hands on the Ronin S. It actually seems like a really great device. High quality construction, all of the proper controls that you would need for a device like this. And I didn't experience any technical issues like I did when I was testing the Osmo in one of my previous episodes. No, this Ronin S seems legit. And this is start stop. Yeah. And then so they... right now it's no memory card, okay. that's why it's showing that. But if you're double cab, it's gonna be record start stop. And what is the M? Um, so the M button is for switching different profiles. Oh, and these okay. profiles are all like by default, it's from uh, faster movement to slower. Okay. And you can even switch by yourself. You know, you can set oh, the app. Nice. So we have an like app right up. here. I can show you this. So we can also set the uh, different setups of the um, you know speed of this. So we can go to user one, two, three profiles and set everything here. So once you're done with the settings, it will save automatically oh, wow. to the gimbal and okay. then you can just go with the gimbal without the phone. So at the trigger in the front, so this is for if you are double tapping, it's gonna reset here. Oh, okay. And if you're doing triple tap, it's gonna do the selfie. And if you're doing double tap, it's gonna reset here again. And if you hold it, it's gonna lock the camera direction just like you did. Ah, okay. Yeah. 
Um, this is a tripod, but also it can go like this, and you can have both hands holding it. Yeah. It's a battery time, but like something like a few hours. Twelve hours. Twelve hours. Yes. Black Magic had a really classy booth. There was a live musician strumming on a harp that you were able to focus on when testing out their assortment of cameras. They also had stands set up to showcase the new DaVinci Resolve 15. I gotta say, Resolve has become an impressive post-production tool. Not only can you do cutting and color correction, you can now also handle compositing, 3D effects, tracking, and even sound mixing. Over at the Airy booth, they actually had this little trailer set up that was serving beverages. And of course, the amazing camera hardware that you come to expect from Airy. And of course, another beautiful live model so that you have something to focus on while you test out the various equipment here. The sun is setting and it's time to depart from the Paramount Studios and into Hollywood, California. Just another freak in the freak kingdom.